to this movie news segment with Movie Read Views. My name's Cody Reed. Now last month I had this idea to do this little summer movie preview for the summer movie months. So you can see what's coming out. You know there's a lot of blockbusters and some other movies. So hopefully this is a way that you can plan out some movies, kind of see what's coming out, and uh, kind of give you a little taste for what will be released. So you can go to the movies and enjoy lots of them. Now this video will be for the June 2015 movies that will be coming out. Now there's four weeks in June and we're going to start with June 5th. There's three movies being released, the first of which is Spy and it stars Melissa McCarthy, Jason Statham and some other people where Melissa McCarthy plays this bumbling idiot who is this like desk CIA person, like an analyst, kind of like gets smart and then she ends up going to the field and she has to prove her skills. So it's Melissa McCarthy doing her old shtick again. And then you have Insidious 3 which is about this girl contacting these spirits and uh, trying to help this other girl with that. I don't really know, but it's one of those horror movies. That's pretty much all you have to know. If you like horror, you might want to go see it. One of the scary movies coming out for the summer. And the other one's Entourage. It's based on that show, and it's these guys in the movie business who are going back into the business trying to make this movie, I think. And uh, I don't really know. I never watched the show, so I'm not really into that movie. But if you like the show, then hey, you know, there's an Entourage movie coming out. You might like it. Now we move on to June 12th, the second weekend in June. There's not a lot of movies coming out that weekend. There's just some smaller movies, uh, including one of them. We'll just start with this. Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl. It's kind of, like I mentioned, a smaller movie where this teenage filmmaker dude becomes friends with this girl with cancer, and you can follow their story and their friendship together. So, you know, look for that smaller indie movie. But, you know, there's a kind of important movie coming out. Or not, I wouldn't say important, but famous movie. Uh, Jurassic World! So it's the fourth installment of that Jurassic Park franchise. It's been a while, maybe 10 or 15 years since we had the third one. Jurassic World is starring Chris Pratt and Dallas Bryce, uh, Dallas Bryce Howard, something like that. And Bryce Dallas Howard, there we go. And uh, it's about the park being open, so now the Jurassic Park is finally open, but then weird stuff is happening and this dinosaur gets on the loose. So I'm pretty excited for that movie. Now we move on to June 19th, the third weekend in June has a few movies coming out again. It's mostly smaller movies, but one of the big ones actually is Inside Out. It's Pixar's new movie, and it's uh, about this girl, and it shows the different emotions happening inside her head. I've seen some of the pre previews, and it looks really interesting how they'll show like joy, sadness, fear, disgust, anger, and the different emotions that toy with each of us and how we go through those in our everyday lives. So it looks really thoughtful and insightful, but also funny and enjoyable for kids and adults. And then another movie, one of the ones that are kind of like an indie movie, but that might be released a lot of places, is Dope. I don't know too much about this movie, but it's basically this comedy drama about these high school kids who love hip-hop culture and basically get invited to this drug dealer's party and end up having this stash, and they have to go on this wild adventure with that. So uh, look for that. Like I mentioned, it might not be in a lot of theaters, but it's something else to see that weekend. Finally, we move on to June 26th. Again, there's not a lot coming out this weekend. I don't know what's going on with June, but it seems to be a lot of smaller movies. One of the ones coming out, though, is Ted 2, and it's the follow-up, the sequel to the original Ted movie a few years ago, where it stars this raunchy teddy bear who's alive, and he's friends with Mark Wahlberg. And basically, in Ted 2, he wants to prove that he's you know, alive, like he should have human rights because he's alive. And But it's supposed to be a comedy just like the other ones. So if you liked Ted, it looks like you'll probably like Ted too. The other movie coming out that weekend is Max. It stars this dog and it's about this dog who helped these U.S. Marines like in war, but then it's returning back home. So it's almost like it has PTSD, but for a dog, like it has to adjust back to normal life and being with this handler's family. So that one's actually PG, so it'll be a nice contrast between that movie and Ted 2 that weekend. There you go. Hopefully that helped. What movies are you waiting to see in June? I mean, pretty much for me, I want to see the bigger movies like Jurassic World or Inside Out. But some of these other movies look interesting too, so make sure to leave some comments, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then lastly, if you have some questions for me, send them to my moviereadviews at gmail.com account, and I'll answer them. We can talk about movies. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next month.